SRAM now has another group set to add to its lineup of access wireless groups known as Explore. SRAM apparently has something against vowels. Soon we'll need an encyclopedia to be able to keep up with all the access groups that SRAM makes. In this video I'm going to explain why it is too little too late for SRAM. Really the only difference between this and the previous access groups is the cassette and the rear derailleur. The cassette is now a whopping 1044 range. It uses the same XDR free hub drive and the same flat top chain as all the other road offerings. Now this group is obviously a gravel group set. The rear derailleur is the other difference. It has a longer knuckle on it to clear that 44 tooth and it is one by specific, meaning you can't use it with a front derailleur. Now the cage is more firm and it won't succumb to up and down movements from harsh terrain because of this. All of this will link seamlessly with current ETAP shifters and brakes, so that is great. Now the downside, and why I will not buy the ETAP Explorer group, and that's the cassette. We all know SRAM has created this group set in response to Campanello's ECAR 1x13 gravel group set. Even if they had this in R&D well before ECAR was released, they're still too late. So let's look at the cassettes. As you see, the Campy 13 speed cassette is here on top, the SRAM 12 speed is on the bottom. Now you can see the gaps here. The 12 and the 14 tooth is missing on the SRAM cassette. And that's a big, big issue there, especially if you plan to use this on the road. Those are large gaps between that 11 and 13 and that 13 and 15 uh, cogs. If you look at the Campy, they have six gears that are one tooth jumps. SRAM has one that is a one tooth jump. That's from 10 to 11. Then as you move up the cassette, that is where SRAM's a little bit closer than the e-car. You can see the 19 to 21 on the SRAM while the e-car is a 19 to 22. So that's going to be a three tooth jump on the e-car where it's only a two tooth jump on the SRAM. And then the SRAM goes up by three teeth and then four teeth. Where the Campy goes up three teeth, four teeth, and then six teeth. So you can see those are the only differences really. Now obviously the Campy has one extra cog to be able to use to close these gaps where SRAM does not. As you climb with a cassette, the larger gaps at the larger end of the cassette, that is actually okay. You want larger gaps as you climb with larger tires. Now SRAM was the pioneer of one by mountain biking, also in road, but they have failed to bring us a legit one by system for road or fast gravel for the sake of milking the money of their current offerings in my opinion. All right, SRAM could easily have programmed the Axis to add another cog to make this group 13 speed like the e-car. There's a room for another cog, they just have to dish it in towards the spokes. But they will milk the 12 speed versions of everything they have until eventually they release a 13 speed, which will obviously probably need a new cassette uh, and then need a new rear derailleur as well. Now, I'm currently running a Hack 10 to 42 mechanical 13 speed cassette by Dirk Stock and has been flawless. You can check out that review, I'll put the link right above here. Okay, ran over. Let me know what you think. Explore, is it good? Is it bad? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below.